Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, I will show you how to recover lost or deleted files in Windows 11 22H2. I think it happened to everyone when you sometimes accidentally shift delete a file or you delete a file from the recycle bin that you wouldn't want to delete. There are a lot of software on the market that can help you recover those files. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a software called Any Recover. Before showing you how the software works, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. You can download the software from the official website. You're going to have a download link in the description below and you can try the software for free. Of course, the free version has some limitations, but you can use it in order to recover some files. For the purpose of this video, I have your wallpaper that I'm going to delete. I'm going to press shift delete. As you can see, are you sure to permanently delete this file? I'm going to click on yes and we're going to try to recover that file from the desktop. We can open the program now. This is the software interface. It has a really, really simple interface. You just have to select the location where you want to start fighting data. You have the option to search for drives or devices. In this case, it would be local disk C. You can specify location, recycle bin, desktop, or select a specific folder, of course. And you also have advanced options. You can find location, recover from crashed computer, or import a scan result. Well, if you don't know where was the file that you deleted, you can use this option. Or if you have a crashed computer that lost data, or you were working on a Word document or something like that, and you cannot find the auto say this can also be useful. In this case, I'm going to select desktop and the scan will start. In this case, it will do a quick scan. And um, in most cases, the quick scan should be good to locate your files. As you can see, it recovered the file successfully. It found it. And after the quick scan, a deep scan will also start. So if you want to leave that, you can leave that as well. But as I've said in previous videos, there are a few factors that will help you recover your files better. Well, if your file is deleted recently, you will have higher chances of recovering it or if the file is a video the chances are a little bit lower because bigger files and files that contain a lot of data will be harder to recover but of course you can take your chances and try to recover your deleted file in this case as you can see I have the file here I'm gonna have to stop the scan for now click on stop okay and now I can select the files that I want to see so I'm gonna select these files as you can see it also recovered an archive that I deleted from the desktop a few minutes ago I'm gonna click on recover to recover the photos and I'm gonna select the partition to the desktop. Well, something that you need to know is that it is not recommended to recover a file in the exact same location where you deleted it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to recover it to the desktop. As you can see here, I'm going to save this and OK. You may be asking, why is that not recommended? Well, because if you recover a file to the same location, that space from your hard drive or SSD will be rewritten. So in that case, if that space from the drive is rewritten, the chances of recovering a file will be close to zero because that means that the file was permanently deleted. When you permanently delete a file in Windows, it is not really permanently deleted. It still has its space in the drive until you rewrite that space with other data. So let's see what we recovered here. All files, photo, JPEG. And as you can see, we recovered one photo that I deleted a few minutes ago and also a photo that I think I've deleted a few days ago, if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, the recovery rate for recently deleted files is very, very nice. And of course here, when you have a lot of files recovered and you don't really know what file you want, you can filter by name, size, format, created date, modified date, path, or you can change here the location. You can see archives. Basically, you can categorize them or you can even enter the file name or path here. You can change the sorting of these and also change the file status and so on. I think this is really, really cool. So basically, with any recover, you can recover deleted, lost, formatted, or corrupted files from a full range of devices and you can recover up to 1,000 file types photos, videos, office documents, emails, audio, and more. And I think the software has a really simple to use interface and can be used by everyone. You don't need to have any high-end tech skills in order to recover a file. So if you want to start recovering files, make sure to check out and recover from Windows from the link below in the video's description. And let me know in the comments what you think about this software. This was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.